Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine and the 2017 season brought devastating levels of damage due to navel orange worm in many tree nut orchards in California. This was addressed by Emily Sims from the UC Cooperative Extension at the annual Tree and Vine Expo at the Stanislaus County Fairgrounds who went into the causes for such damage and what growers can do moving into 2018. Here she is. And what's really important to do is revisit really what happened with navel orange worm in 2017. And honestly, going into the year, we thought, hey, we had all this rainfall. Maybe it'll be a lower insect arthropod pressure year. We knew it was going to be a high disease pressure year. But what ended up happening is we had a lot of navel orange worm damage come harvest time. And why? Why? Why, you ask? Um, we couldn't get it in sanitized. And so really, once it started raining, December, January last year, it really didn't let up. And so if you weren't one of those early sanitizers, it was really hard to get the nuts on the ground. And we know that um, wet weather can help rot the nuts on the ground, especially if there's ground cover and help with mortality. But um, in general, we just didn't get in and get the nuts on the ground. So bloom happened in almonds, um, spring happened, walnuts started to flush out, and we had a lot of mummies left in the trees. And when we were out sampling, May, uh, March, April, May, all of this time period, we were finding plenty of live navel orange worms in the nuts. In addition, those nuts were being oviposited on as the early generation started to emerge. What else happened is we got to June and it got hot. And I mean, it got hot and it pretty much stayed hot. And we're used to the heat of the summer, but I've got a slide in my talk today that shows we really got to about July and then those heat units really started to break apart from previous years. And so by September, we were almost two weeks ahead in terms of insect heat growth units, what we call the green days. Um, we're almost two weeks ahead by kind of early mid-September than we have been in previous years. And what that means is that they're having a faster developmental time, they're going through more generations, and the populations are building up. Um, in walnuts in particular, we actually saw a lot of damage from other sources as well. And so this is where navel orange worms can get into the nuts earlier in the season and build up those populations. So we had a lot of blight because of the rain, we had a lot of codling moth because I'm not quite sure why, um, and then it got hot and we had a lot of sunburn. All of those things can let navel orange worm in. So that's kind of a, what happened with NOW, why we saw the harvest damage we did. Um, returns on almonds are suggesting at least double what we're used to in terms of NOW damage. And that's once they've gone to the processor and been sorted. If you're taking ground counts in the orchard, we're seeing triple, quadruple, even sometimes tenfold what we're used to seeing um, in the field. The walnut returns are not totally clear yet, especially in how some of the later varieties fared but there's been a lot of word on the street. Um, some of the early varieties were hit pretty hard. Um, and actually there were plenty of orchards, even in late June and July of Chandler's and some of the later varieties that we don't think of as worm varieties. We were finding lots of NOW in nuts that were early splits, early drops, already damaged on the ground. So it's kind of 2017 in a nutshell. So what do we really need to do as a nut crop community? So we're talking, almonds, walnuts, pistachios. We know we have a huge nut crop footprint in California. It's time to push the reset button. And I've heard a lot of folks say that is we've got to get out and get our orchards sanitized this year. In my talk I talk about that's the foundation of NOW management and no amount of spraying, no amount of anything else that you do out there if you don't have that solid foundation of getting the nuts out of the trees on the ground and processed, incorporated, shredded as much as possible. If you don't do that, that baseline, we're not gonna get to the industry standards for damage, which are really low because of aflatoxin concerns, um, export markets, all of those kinds of considerations. So sanitation first and foremost, get us in a next year with as clean a slate as possible. Because we know if we have heavy harvest pressure, We've got a lot of carryover potential and we don't know what the weather is going to do to us this year. So getting out, getting the nuts off the trees and on the ground probably earlier than later this year is the, the single thing that we can do and go into next year with our typical IPM strategy of monitoring, pulse split treatments if needed, um, and follow-up evaluations at that point.
Thank you, Emily. Read more about navel orange worm management in the orchard in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.